Hi, I'm Ariel Traveler, and I'd like to take you on a recreational tree climb today. Uh, we're in southeastern Ohio, and it's a uh, kind of an overcast day today. It's about 30 degrees. Uh, I'd like to try to climb this uh, moderate-sized white oak behind me. It's probably about 85 feet tall, maybe 90 feet. Uh, we'll get to about 80 feet today in the tree. Uh, that's about as high as you can get into the canopy of this particular tree. But not only do I want to take you on a tree climb and show you the canopy and the view from the top of this tree, but I'd like to show you uh, the rope wrench system that I'm using and the setup uh, to see if it's something that you might want to consider for your recreational tree climbing kit. Uh, the rope wrench system uh, is really versatile because it allows you to transform a lot of your doubled rope uh, equipment uh, into a single rope system uh, that's very efficient and you can turn it into a rope walker system uh, that allows you to walk up the rope uh, using your leg muscles and not really relying on your arms and hands so much to pull yourself up the rope. With all of that being said, uh, come with me. Let's go for a tree climb. Uh, today I'm going to uh, ascend a rope using the uh, rope wrench. The rope wrench uh, utilizes a lot of components that are typical in a doubled rope system. Um, my rope wrench setup uh, here is using Yale Bandit rope. I have an 8 millimeter uh, B-line hitch cord uh, and the fixed tether from uh, Rope Logic. The uh, Singing Tree rope wrench uh, was invented uh, a good while ago um, and it allows you to ascend and descend on a rope, a single rope, uh, utilizing just a hitch. Uh, typically if you attempted to ascend and descend a rope uh, with just a hitch without the rope wrench, uh, you would uh, bind up here at the hitch to the point where you wouldn't be able to come up and go down. So uh, the rope wrench uh, uses or applies friction uh, and bends the rope here uh, right above the hitch. Uh, that little bend uh, allows you to ascend and descend on a hitch uh, very nicely. And uh, you can set this up in all different kinds of ways. There's all different pulleys that you can use. Uh, I'm using the hitch climber pulley today. But it's really personal preference. You could use the Pinto pulley. Uh, ISC actually sells a uh, pulley uh, to be used with the rope wrench. Uh, one thing I should point out here is that the uh, tether, this piece right here, is fairly stiff and uh, that is necessary to use the uh, rope wrench. Uh, the tether has two eyes here just like the uh, friction hitch cord that I'm using. Now I've chosen to install the tether independent of the hitch cord um, and that allows you to switch back over to doubled rope very easily. Um, you can put the tether eyes and the friction hitch eyes on one carabiner, but it uh, really crowds the carabiner. And personally, I don't uh, prefer that method, but a lot of climbers use that and it works very well for them. Uh, using a Rocco carabiner like this separately uh, for the uh, tether um, really does allow you to um, unhook the system very quickly in the tree and uh, turn it into a doubled rope system that a lot of climbers are familiar with. Um, this is a little bit sloppy using a carabiner to attach the tether uh, to the hitch climber like this in that top hole. A lot of climbers have uh, used uh, a much more compact uh, system that's not quite as sloppy to attach that tether. Uh, sometimes they'll use uh, two washers and a slick pin through there or some type of uh, uh, agricultural type connector uh, like from Tractor Supply or Rural King uh, department stores. Uh, I'm just utilizing the carabiner because that's what I have in my bag today uh, and it seems to work pretty good. Uh, it flops around a little bit but as you can see it's, it's really easy to take the tether off uh, and detach it all the way um, from the system. 
and then um, you're just left with the uh, hitch, the hitch climber, uh, pulley, and the uh, carabiner here at the bottom. Now if you had tried to uh, ascend and descend on just this, uh, this hitch would really bind up very uh, tightly and it really wouldn't allow you to advance the hitch up or descend on the hitch. Uh, that's where the friction from the rope wrench uh, really comes into play and uh, allows you to go up and down on the rope uh, utilizing uh, the friction hitch and the rope wrench. So let me install the rope wrench here real quickly for you. It's got a little slick pin on there. Uh, you can see it's captured and uh, you can drop that but uh, it stays there for the most part. Um, and so you can put that onto the rope and uh, push that through if you can get it. Okay. And then um, you can attach these two tether eyes uh, to the hitch climber. And this is where a lot of climbers have gotten creative and devised something very uh, compact to tether that to the uh, uh, hitch climber. I'm just, of course, using another Rocco carabiner. It seems to work okay. You could certainly dial that in and uh, get rid of most of that carabiner and use a different connector there. But uh, that setup does allow you to advance on a single line using just a hitch. And the uh, rope wrench, of course, applies just a little bit of friction there at the top. I wanted to provide you a, a glimpse of the equipment installed on the rope. Uh, so you can kind of see how it's all configured uh, without me being in the way. Uh, at the heart here is the rope wrench uh, with the hitchhiker pulley, uh, the stiff tether, and the hitch cord. You can use whatever uh, friction hitch you like. Uh, I won't get into that. There's plenty of videos on that uh, already. Um, down here at the bottom, uh, I have my foot ascender. This is an old CMI foot ascender. Uh, there's different options available that are smaller and lighter. Um, that gives me a step for my right foot. And then uh, the knee ascender here is in the middle. Uh, that has a, a foot loop uh, for my left foot. It gives me a step for my left foot. And then uh, there's a bungee cord here attached to that knee ascender. Uh, that knee ascender rides around your knee and then this is connected uh, somewhere on your harness and that allows you to get uh, a good pull out of the bungee and that advances the knee ascender up the rope as you go. The rope wrench is installed above the hitch and uh, also uses a tether that comes back down here and is easily connected to the pulley somehow. Uh, that tether uh, has kind of a built-in tending point in it uh, I was messing around with tending the device up here also. I, I really didn't like that very much. Uh, typically I'll uh, tend the device uh, right here by installing my chest uh, uh, harness and connection point there and that will allow me to tend the device as I send the rope. So once you have a little tension in the system here and you have it connected to your harness uh, what you can do is you can take the tending point from your chest harness and connect it wherever you like in the system that it works. I like to use the middle hole. Uh, some tethers have this little uh, connection point here. You could probably use this second carabiner if you wanted to. Um, but uh, you'd have to find uh, the point that works best for you. And at that point, you can put your foot ascender on and maybe take a couple steps and get in and on the rope. Now, the next thing I'd like to do is install my, my knee ascender.
ready to come down. Uh, I have this redirect that I'm going to take out uh, that will slack this original uh, SRT uh, system uh, that I have redirected from below and I'll descend a little bit on this doubled rope system uh, and get back to that original tie-in point and then lower myself to the ground from there. Uh, so let's work on doing that. It's getting a little chilly up here. Uh, so first thing is you can kind of slack this system so I got some play in it. I'm still tied in over here on this doubled rope uh, lanyard um, and I can take out my redirect here which is just really just a carabiner and a webbing sling uh, or a Dyneema sling. So I could kind of drop that down there and I can take this carabiner out Store 
back on my saddle here. So now I uh, have my SRT system here, the rope wrench system slacked. Um, I can take up some of that slack and then I'll descend a little bit on this lanyard. my SRT system. This uh, SRT system is just cinched onto this uh, main trunk here uh, that's using a, a pair uh, link and uh, this paracord is my pull-down rope um, that allows me to pull this connector, this pair link down, and uh, unhook all of this once I get down to the ground. Now, you can sometimes have trouble pulling these uh, cinched anchors out, especially if you set it extremely tight. If you set this cinched anchor extremely tight like this, um, Sometimes it's really difficult to pull it down using this thin paracord. If you set this just a little loose, which kind of seems counterintuitive, um, but that will allow you to pull it down a little bit easier once you get down onto the ground. If you have it cinched real tight, sometimes you can't really break uh, the friction like you want to and uh, pull this down and then you wind up having to come up and loosen this. So we'll leave that kind of loose for now. Now we'll descend down here a little bit farther on this other lanyard. Now something else that can help you pull down this connector uh, once you get back onto the ground is you could actually use the rope itself uh, as the pull down and tie in midpoint in your rope or you could use a little bit thicker rope uh, that would allow you to use a hand descender on the pull down rope and get some real uh, good positive grip on it to pull it down. I like the paracord because I like to leave it uh, out in the tree. Um, these trees are on private land and I like to climb them uh, over and over again and uh, that way I don't have to set my throw line up here every time and take half an hour to mess with the throw line that's already up here. This doubled rope system uh, is slack now and I can start to think about pulling that out. My original tie-in point is this green rope and you can see that the cinched anchor tightened up a little bit, but it's not set incredibly tight on the trunk, and it's really not necessary to. As I put my weight in it, it will cinch up a little bit, but with that kind of loose around the trunk, that'll allow me to pull it down uh, from the ground. So uh, let me unhook this. on this uh, SRT system using the rope wrench and I'm going to come down um, 
And that should allow me to get all the way to the ground. I can tell I'm going to get to the ground because that green rope is laying on the ground. Of course, when you descend, uh, you just need to massage the top of this knot. And then keep your belay hand out here. And uh, that controls how much rope is fed into the system from underneath and uh, allows you to control the uh, rate of your descent. Um, the rope wrench, of course, is taking some of the friction off my hitch. Uh, if you tried to do this with just a hitch on a single rope without the rope wrench, uh, the hitch would bind really to the point where you wouldn't be able to move and you'd kind of be stuck. Thank <laughs> you.